Luke in Birmingham, how are you? Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, right. Um, like, uh, I'm just going to present to you why I choose to believe. Um, okay. Uh, let me start by saying, uh, firstly, the God that I serve doesn't actually require a human being to know about him or to be, to, in order for him to be healed by him. See, um, uh, in order for him to what? In order for him to be healed by him. So you believe in a God that heals, but belief in the God isn't required for healing? No, and and healing from is healing from selflessness, selfishness into selflessness, because we are all born selfish, as, as I'm sure we can all admit, we're all born selfish, egocentrism. Um, we're all born egocentric, and um, the opposite is actually the design for life. Okay, and, uh, I just, I just want to make sure I'm understanding you. You believe in a God that can change somebody from being selfish to selfless, but belief in that right. God is not required for that transition. Not necessarily. That's no. an interesting question for free okay. will, then. No, no, no. What, what, he will present evidence. Oh, yes. And the next thing I was going to say is this. The God that I actually believe in values human, human freedom more than anything, and is actually willing to die give his own life, then use his own powers to violate your own freedoms. Okay. And that's, and, and that's key. Secondly, secondly, the second evidence I have is that... Well, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, um, um, well, Luke, you, you can't have a second evidence until you have a first okay, one. Okay, yeah, sorry. There I wasn't any evidence. That was just a definition of what you believe. Yeah. Okay, yeah, go ahead. That's true. Okay, yeah. Okay, then, moving on from that, um, uh, my religion teaches that God is love. And this love is given a definition. It's not an emotion or a warm fuzzy feeling. It's actually a principle upon which life is based. It is the it is the principle of giving. And and um, and the, it says his nature. This principle of giving can actually be seen in what he has made. And so, if he created this world and his nature is love and he is giving, you can see this in all bio- in all systems that promote life. And um, an example of this would be an example of this principle would found found in nature. Um, would be a respiration. With every breath that you take, you give our carbon dioxide to the plants. Plants give back, uh, sorry, give our oxygen, sorry, give our carbon dioxide to the plants. Plants give back oxygen. It's the principle of giving that sustains life. Furthermore, you can see this example. Hang on, Luke. Before you get to the furthermore, I mean, you've said God is love and God is nature, and that's all no. poetic. No. That's all poetic no. stuff. You didn't say that? I didn't say God, I didn't say God, I didn't say God is nature. I okay. Think you said that your religion his, teaches. His that, nature. You said his your religion nature. teaches that he, God is love. What nature? No, the God's nature. God's nature is love. And God's nature love is love. Is and then right. you, which is some some nice little poetic non descriptions, and then you say that this is a principle, and then you say that the, the evidence for this principle is seen in nature through something like respiration. And what I'm going to say to that is that. The process of respiration, this this synergistic process that you're talking about, where we exhale carbon dioxide that the plants use, that they then provide us with oxygen, that is an entirely material, understood scientific principle that doesn't yeah. require love okay. or right. anything beyond that. I'd like I'd like to also to okay. bring up that this is an important thing to think about. If God's nature right. is love, and you are apparently, yes. I would assume, one of God's favorite you know, creations. You are a human right. being. That means that you're an animal. That means that okay. in order for you to exist, you must consume and digest living cells, right. as all animals do. So God's right. nature, according to you, is okay. evident uh, when we see a cheetah outrunning a springbok and tearing it apart. <laughs> Am I, am I right? That goes, prove, that goes on to prove my point even more because then my religion also teaches that our 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 our, our, uh, our planet is infected by an antagonistic principle to his nature that brings death, and this is the principle of selfishness, which is the opposite of love. It's the principle of me first and seeking out to uh, uh, seeking out me first, because greater love is when you give your life for something, and then this other antagonistic principle is whereby you sacrifice someone else's life for yours. Okay. And in nature, you can see this when you see animals killing each other to promote their own well-being. And but what, God, I need to understand something here. Who created the animals? God did. Okay. 
God made them have to yeah. depend on yeah. consuming living cells. God no, built death no, into yes, the survival God. system. Yes, that, that's because we are infected with this. God also. infected us, is what you're saying. Oh, not, my religion doesn't teach that. It teaches, it God created the animal. The animal is dependent on death to survive. He's saying not originally. Okay. Can, okay. You're saying the that there was a... Eden, a in the Garden of Eden. You're, the saying of Eden. That, you're saying that there's a time when animals didn't have to eat other animals to live? Yes, that's what I'm saying. Do you, you have evidence for that? Uh, if you, okay, well, I'm going to... Explain. Yes or no question, can please. Can you answer with a yes or no, please? Can you say um, yes or no, please? Do you, you have evidence that for that? Animals, there was a time when animals never had to eat each other. Did you, what, um, I didn't hear. Was that a yes, you have evidence for that, or was that a no, you don't have evidence for that? By please the answer. way, th th there is an audio problem with the phones. How, how, can, I, how can I have evidence for it? So then the answer is you, no. So the answer is no. Okay. No. Now, why do you believe it if you don't have evidence for it? Because it makes sense in totality with the rest of the evidence that I see. Wait, wait, with the rest of the evidence? Yes. Yeah. So what evidence? You said you don't have okay, evidence, now you say you do. Okay. Uh, the, 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 the law of love is this, that in order for a living system to live, it needs to give, and when giving stops, death comes. Wait, and you so, see this, so the springbok gives of itself to the cheetah?